Well done! You've reached the last chapter of this course. We're going to learn about how to combine data from multiple sources to run data-driven tests. This is useful for large and complex projects where you need to gather many data files from different teams to run your tests. All right, let's create a new test suite. And then add a test case that has variables. In the test data section, click add to select the data source. But instead of choosing only one, I will go for both Excel and CSV data files. Click OK. It's that simple. But let's go for three. I'll also add the PostgreSQL database we've created earlier. So we have three data sources here. For variable binding, you can use these set type and set test data buttons here to do the mapping. Click on set type and choose data column. Continue to select set test data and choose the Excel file. For the value, pick the city column. Do the same for the other variable. Choose the column. For test data, let's go for the CSV file. And for the value, select the expected result column. And that's it for the setup. I'll run this test suite and see how it works. It's expected to use the Excel file for the city location input and the CSV file for verification. Particularly in this Excel data file, it will use the values in the city column, Atlanta, New York, Miami, and Tokyo respectively to input the cities for location. And in the CSV file, it will use this expected result column, stays in Atlanta, New York, Miami, and Tokyo respectively to verify the search output. Since the city order for the input and output from the two data files match each other, I expect our test run will pass. Let's wait and see. And all the tests passed as expected. Click on this result tab if you want to see or download the report for this test suite execution. Now I'll buy the expected result variable to the PostgreSQL database. Run the test suite again and expect it to fail. Well, let me explain. The second and third values in this Excel files column are New York and Miami. Meanwhile, there are stays in Miami and stays in New York in a database column. Since the city order does not match, our test run will fail. Let's wait and see. So, the second test has failed, just like we expected. It failed at step 7, the verifying step. It could not find stays in Miami text because the input was New York. Hence, the search output was actually stay in New York on the Airbnb website. And that concludes our chapter. You've learned how to combine test data from different sources to run data-driven tests. In the last lesson, we're going to see how you can use the checkpoint feature to check data change before running tests and why you should do so.